This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. The South Florida Bulls had birds on their minds as they traveled to Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It was the week before Thanksgiving. They were playing in the home of the Super Bowl champion Eagles, and most important, were playing the Owls of Temple. And USF was hoping to get some air under their own wings again after their first three-game losing streak in years. They were primed for the important American Athletic Conference game that could be oversimplified as a battle of the Bulls' explosive offense against the Owls' stingy defense. Beautiful football day, 45 degrees, sunshine perfect. From the shotgun on second down, it's back to Armstead as he tries to stretch it out. He's going to lose three yards in the play, and the Bulls up front, led by Khalid McGee that time, the weak side linebacker, makes the tackle. And it's punt time for Temple, three and out on the first series of the game. Yeah, nice job by the USF defense. Ditto for the Bulls offense, not unusual for a group that had averaged 475 yards a game for the season. A group that also had starting quarterback Blake Barnett back under center after missing a game with a shoulder injury. Third down and two on the ground. It goes to Crockwright. He's got the first and more. Jordan Crockwright down the sideline. USF, and he is run out of bounds inside the five. Almost had a touchdown, and the Bulls are in business. Now Crockwright again to the right of Barnett. Here we go, Barnett. Flips it out, Cronkright, he's got it, touchdown. It was the start of a big day for Cronkright, who would become just the fifth Bulls back in history to go over 1,000 rushing yards in a season. The 7-0 lead lending promise to the afternoon, warming the faithful who made the trip. And for a second straight series, the USF defense would step up and hold the Owls to a three and out. Dangerous pass to the outside, and it got broken up by Mazzy Wilkins. Now you talk about jumping around, Wilkins jumped that one right there. Quarterback pressure has been key for the Bulls defense all season. They're in the top 20 in the country in tackles for loss. Slumps it up in the end zone. It is deflected and knocked down by Mike Hampton. Whether rushing the quarterback or the kicker, the aggressive Bulls were pitching a first half shutout. And special teams weren't left out either, as the Bulls had a nose for the ball regardless of which unit was on the field. USF had like five white jerseys. They've got it. They've recovered it. Chris Barr alertly fell on the muffed punt, and the Bulls were in business with Johnny Ford getting them into Kobe Weiss range. 35-yard attempt, and it is through. So 10-0, USF here. Rosso. Pressure. Oh, he's going to be sacked. Kirk Livingstone for USF on his fourth sack of the season. Temple had scored 99 points in their previous two games, but the Bulls silenced the home crowd by shutting them down even when they resorted to trickery. And they are going to fake it. Here we go. Throw the pass. Sateo, and it's incomplete. Almost intercepted by Mike Hampton. The Bulls were doing everything they needed to in a road game. Sound defense, opportunistic offense, and a time-consuming drive midway through the quarter that chewed up 83 yards. And it is Bell. Shifty as well. And spinning his way up to midfield. And that's going to be another first down. Now they'll rush four. Barnett. There's an outside line. And a catch is made by McCants. Over the top. Laid it in there perfectly, and it's a first down for USF. Now it's back to Ford, and out in front blocking is Barnett. Barnett leading the way, and Ford gets down to the two. Jordan Crockwright has it for USF. Crockwright's second touchdown sent USF into halftime with a 17-0 lead. But this game would definitely turn into a tale of two halves. While the Bulls' strong defensive play continued, Temple managed their only offensive touchdown of the day on their first drive of the second half. And on the return is Bentley Sanders for USF. Gets a hole, cuts it back, far side of the field. And Sanders still on his feet. Redshirt freshman Bentley Sanders leads the Bulls in kick return yardage and immediately got a big chunk of real estate back. 
Will be knocked out at the 47 yard line. But the Bulls could not take advantage of the good field position. Second to 13 pass from Barnett. Look out, and it is intercepted. Delvon Randall from the shotgun on a first and 10 for the 33. Sudden change, taking a shot deep down the field. That's intercepted. They're going to give it right back. Ronnie Hoggins on the interception for the Bulls. And Hoggins is still on his feet. He's got a chance inside the 25. Multiple flags come in. It was the eighth interception of Hoggins' career. He had a strong game with seven tackles, upping his season total to a career high. His play and the rest of the defense helped protect the 17-10 lead heading into the fourth quarter. But Temple would score touchdowns on special teams and defense to come from behind for the win. Coach Charlie Strong pointed to not scoring on the two turnovers they created. His Bulls know they have no time to dwell on the loss and have to return home to get ready for the war on I-4.